Well, hello and welcome to another Power BI feature focus where we look at in detail um, various features of the Power BI solution. Today, we're going to be looking at the lineage view in the Power BI service. My name is Greg Long and I'm a senior BI consultant at Professional Advantage. And Lineage View is a really great feature that has been introduced recently because one of the problems with these modern analytics applications is understanding the flow of data from all the way from the data source to the end report. And it can be really challenging to see that data flow where you have multiple data sources, report dependencies on multiple data sources, and where you're just trying to troubleshoot or understand the impact of the change. And normally what we do as BI consultants is we would document that in like a Visio flow or, or, or in a Word document to make sure that these flows uh, were understood. And Power BI Lineage View really solves some of those problems. Let me go to my Power BI screen and I'll just show you that. So I'm in my Power BI home screen and what I need to do is to just open a workspace. I've got a workspace here that I've looked at recently. And in my workspace, you can see all of my reports, my data sets, um, even my data flows, but you can't see how they are all interrelated together. You can have an idea, but, um, and including some of the dashboards, you, you can't see how that's interacted. So let me just switch to Lineage View. And Lineage View gives us a flow in a diagram of the data from the data source to the dashboard. For instance, you can see here, if I scroll down um, in this SharePoint example, I have my data sources to the left and they flow into a data flow, which is optional. The data flow or the data sources then come into what we call a, a Power BI data set where we do the modeling and then we build our reports in, in all, the, all the visuals in the Power BI report. And so these are the reports that we create. And on top of the reports are each dashboard. So you can look and see with this lineage view, show me what this dashboard is made from. So you can see that this, when I press this show lineage, it, sh it highlights where the data has come from. Conversely, I can actually go to another report and start here at the SQL Server. So I can say, show me the lineage for this SQL Server. And then you can see that that SQL Server data source goes into this data set and into these reports. You can easily search as well. I come in here and I've got some Power Automate. So if I just type in here Automate, I can then search for my various components and look for those. So if I've got a lot of them, the searching is really amazing. And I can go and flick between each of them as well. There are other some really great other things that you can do. So you can see we have the dot, dot, dots, which are the more options against the report and the data set. And what we can do is actually go and um, the essentially shortcuts into the settings, into the quick insights um, for uh, the, for the uh, data set. We can actually go into look at the scheduled refresh, download it and manage permissions. So it's a quick shortcut to various areas. We can actually then act, go to the report. And if I clicked on this, this would actually take me to the report, which is just a, a nice shortcut area as well. One of the greatest features of this lineage view is it shows you the impact of a change. So let me scroll to one of my reports where we can see an impact. So if I look at my SQL Server, and if I look at this show impact across workspaces, if I click that, it tells me what this data source um, impact is. So my so this data source has an impact on one workspace, which is the workspace I'm on, if I open that up, and it shows me what data set or and, and it and affects my contract analysis data set. Let's go to another one here. Let's look at this SharePoint data set. So let's look at this one here, and it shows me that this SharePoint data set is affecting two workspaces. I've got the demo, and it shows me where it's affecting the data flow, uh, and a data set and another data set in another workspace that I have. The other cool thing is that I can actually go in and notify people if I'm going to make a change or if there's going to be an issue with that data set. So I can go in here, put in um, a message and it will send an email to the people that are using that data set. So 
really good features with this lineage view. So when would you really use lineage view? In these ways, to really gain an overview of the data dependencies of a particular workspace. It's, it's amazing at that. Number two, if you need to refresh or, or troubleshoot um, the way data is flowing, you can actually see here in my, uh, in my lineage view that I can refresh the data set and I can tell you when it was last refreshed. And if I have an issue, there'll be an icon there that will show me that there's an issue with this part of the data set, okay? Um, and the other thing is it allows me to identify the impact of a particular issue with a data set of the impact over reports and people that are affected by those reports. So this is um, just a short video explaining the lineage view. I'm hoping that you're going to use it, especially if you have complex uh, reporting in your workspaces. It's a great feature to just look at. I have customers that, that are really using this view to see where the data is flowing from. So until next time, the next feature focus, it's um, Greg from Professional Advantage and signing off. Please contact us on our website if you've got any questions at pa.com.au. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.